Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video we're going to talk about how to manage your Microsoft Forms with Collections. Now the Forms Collections is a new feature that was announced towards the end of last month and I'm seeing it starting to show up on everybody's tenant which is why I thought I'll build this video and walk you through it. And this feature has been one of the highly requested ones by users so I think you're going to like this. So stick around but first here's my intro video. So let's get started. Now September 27th of 2021, which is about three weeks ago, the announcement was made on the Microsoft Tech community and that's where it is. It's about the forms collections. So now that you know it was announced, let's go and see how it actually works. So I go now to my Microsoft forms. And by the way, if you just go to office.com on the bottom left, you'll see your Microsoft forms or you can click on the waffle menu and you can see that over there. Now, when you click on either one of them and you come to Microsoft forms, this is the home page of Microsoft forms. And over here, you do not see that new feature. To see it, you actually have to go and see your forms, which in this case is all my forms link. I go over there, it opens up another tab, but here is where you see this new collection feature. That's where you see it. Something to keep in mind, all right? That's where you see it. Now, the term collection is basically what it means, is you can go ahead and take a set of forms, which are similar, and collect them into this collection. So to demonstrate that, I have a bunch of forms over here, but three of them are very specific towards workshops. So I'm going to actually call a collection. I'm going to create a collection and I'm going to call it workshop. All right. And now I've got a collection created. And the moment you do that, you see it over here as the collection. Also, the moment you've created that, if you go to any one of the forms and you click on the ellipsis, you will see this move to a collection option and you see that collection that you've created. And it's very dynamic. So if I go ahead and now create another collection, because I've got a bunch of quizzes, so I want to go and put them in a quiz collection. So I'll go ahead and create this collection, click on create, and now I've got that collection created. And so if I go and select any other forms, I'll go to move a collection, it shows up over here. So it's very dynamic, right? Something to keep in mind. Cool. So now, as you can see, the collections are created and you've got this nice view structure that on the top, it shows that these are the collections and it tells me there are no items in it, which means there are no forms added. And here are the uncategorized forms. Another way to view this is on the top right, you've got these view options. I can go and change that from the default list to the tiles. And this is what it does that. It goes out and first categorizes or lists the form collections that you have. And then all of these other ones are the uncategorized ones. So that's just another view. Preferably, I, I personally like the list ones. So now that I've created this, let me start going ahead and moving some of the forms to these collections. So let me just pick those three ones that I talked about. In here is the one that I use for uh, workshops. So I'm gonna select on the ellipses or more options, and I'm gonna move this one to my workshop. Now the moment you do it, you see it removes it from this uncategorized forms list, and it moves it into my workshop. And now that zero items has turned into one. In fact, there was a little thing on the top over there which will go and show you what that is. Is I'll go ahead and actually say this one, I'm gonna move that to workshops. And the moment I do it, it tells me the form has moved and that gives me the name of the form and it tells me where I can go and click on it. So it's a little nice message which only stays there for a minute or so and then it disappears or you can also click on that X. But that's the key thing is that it has gone ahead and moved from this one group and placed it over here and it gives you a running count of how many items or forms that you have in this collection. So for the quiz one, I'll go and go an example. I have this as a quiz. This form is actually a quiz. I'll go and move that now to a quiz. And there you go. Now here's a next very important tip that you need to know about this feature. If you were to come to this collection, and if you come to this collection and say, hey, I wanna delete it. If you go ahead and delete it, it will give you this message. And a very important message that you need to be aware of. It says, once you delete this collection, all forms within it will also be deleted. So it's, you know, it's, it's a helpful thing that if you've got unwanted forms, instead of deleting them one by one, you just dump it into this one collection and delete the whole collection. Maybe a faster way to delete it, but keep in mind that the forms in that collection will also get deleted. Now, the good thing is that, hey, if you for some reason completely ignore this, and you went ahead and deleted it, it is also available in the recycle bin. So I can come to the recycle bin and I see it's available over here. I can go ahead to the options and I can say, I wanna restore it. And when I restore it, it shows up right away where we left it, right there, all right? So that's pretty neat. 
also the functionality is there to go ahead and copy it. So when I copy it, it immediately goes ahead and creates not just the collection, but it goes ahead and copies all the forms in it as well. So it's a pretty neat functionality, which I like because it's helping you to obviously collect things and group them together, but you can also do big tasks such as copying and deleting in that same group, a very easy way to do it faster. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is that this ability of creating collections is something tied only at a user level. What that means is that right away here, I have this one account, this account has come in and gone ahead and created all these collections for the own user's flexibility and needs, however it is. But now if I log in as another user in the same tenant, I've logged in as the same user, that user doesn't see those forms. So this is actually a really important piece to note and it's also a good segue to move into the FAQ section because right in this article, there was actually some important, three important FAQs that I wanna talk about. FAQ stand for frequently asked questions. So right at the bottom, there were these additional FAQs and the first one, we already know that it says, will this become available? Well, it's gonna become available in September and October. Well, it's October and it became available. Next one is this feature, which says, does this work on group forms? And it says collections allow you to organize your personal forms at this stage, which is your personal forms. We will cons consider expanding this to group forms in the future. Please stay tuned. And we just demonstrated that. I had a user which went ahead and created the collections, able to do it, switched over to another user and the same tenant, that user did not see the collections we made. And this is basically proving that FAQ. And then the last question was, you know, no collections, the schemes cannot be downloadable or exportable. Basically, you cannot download or export those collections they are basically there for that one reason. So hopefully this 10 minute video was helpful to you. I personally am very excited about the forms collections because it just helps you to compartmentalize all your forms into categories, which just keep things neat and tidy. So hopefully this was helpful. And as always, keep using Microsoft Forms. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Remember, this is all free with fresh content that is updated on a weekly basis. So if you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you and spread the word. If you haven't already, Subscribe, click on the bell notification, and let the learning begin.